It's, it's nice to have you join me now. Can you bring us up to speed? Yes, Mike, the countdown continues to the most anticipated moment, which is who gets uh, the presidential ticket of the People's Democratic uh, Party. Well, the stakes are indeed uh, very high. We have seen delegates, more than 800 of them, pass through, go through the accreditation process. All of them are now seated. Slowly but surely, the process has started. Um, they are still at the introductory level. We have seen our dignitaries, party big wigs, uh, come in and go out and go around and uh, exchange pleasantries. But, you know, let's uh, get an understanding of all of this from the perspective of the former governor of Kwara State, uh, His Excellency Abdul Fattah Ahmed. Welcome to the program, Your Excellency. Thank you very much. Yes, uh, decision time is coming, but who is the man to watch out for? Well, as you can see, um, with the way it's been organized, we have our top contenders and we have our fresh entrants. And of course, we have others who have also come in. Um, you can see from the plethora of um, consultations that have been made across the country, you would know and see who the top contenders are. And um, obviously, we'll begin to see those things reflect in the way and manner people are going to vote very soon. Okay, I want to ask you, who are your top three contenders? Well, like I said, it would not be fair for me to give you names, as it were, because at the arena here, um, as an official, we're here to superintend over activities of every contestant here. It would not be fair for me to begin to give you names, as it were. But I know that they're all prepared and they're all willing to see that uh, the progress, uh, sorry, the process goes through smoothly and they will demonstrate, um, they will need to demonstrate uh, sportsmanship in accepting the outcomes uh, of the results. Now the question is, the PDP has been in the sideline for eight, for, uh, at the end of this administration it will be eight years that the PDP has been in the sidelines. Does the party still have what it takes? Does um, it still have what it takes? It does not only have what it takes, it is prepared to take it on because it has had the opportunity of reflecting on where it had its shortcomings. It's had the opportunity of seeing how new things can be done. And most importantly, it has seen the shortfalls in the current system we are in. So it definitely will consolidate its position to reposition itself to take on Nigeria to a better level. Okay, just um, yesterday, INEC uh, shifted the goalpost with the slight adjustment to the uh, election timetable. Did this cause any upset for your party? Because Certainly not. You have From what you can see, you can see that we're prepared and um, we are going on with the convention as planned. Mm. Zoning was also uh, a very topical issue in the campaigns leading to um, the primaries. Where should the ticket be zoned? Eventually, the zoning committee threw it open, even though not everyone was satisfied um, with that um, decision. But would you say that hatchet has been buried? No, it's been driven by exigency of times. Because the exigency of times will determine how things will swing. And that's exactly what is shaping how the selection process is going through. Mm. But looking at um, the All Progressives Congress, um, by next year, they would have been in power for eight years. What do you think um, the party has not done well? And if the PDP gets elected at the big election, uh, as soon as you hit the ground running, would be a priority for your party? Well, Nigerians are the best judges. Uh, however, I think um, it would be easier to look at it from the perspective of where we were before they took in and where we are right now. You can look at all the indices and the social indicators, how they fit in well into what Nigerians want to see. And um, of course, it cuts across human capital development, economic development, and of course, um, infrastructure. Nigerians are in the best position to look at it where we were before and where we are right now. Where, whether they still feel that the system requires to be driven by the same vehicle, Nigerians will determine that. Mm. At the beginning of the race, the PDP had 17 aspirants to um, didn't, um, scale uh, the clearance stage, and then Peter will be dropped out just last night to this morning. Uh, Mohammed Hayatuddin also pulled out of the race. But you know, there's something curious about the reason why Mohammed Hayatuddin pulled out. He said uh, the process has been obscenely monetized. Make us understand. Well, that. I'm not aware of that because I'm not in a position to be able to see that. Because one, I'm not a delegate, and two, I'm not a contestant. But be it as it may, I see it all as part of uh, the gamut of uh, playing, um, uh, uh, playing the game itself. Because you don't expect everybody to come out and get to a finishing level. You expect that along the line, some will drop, some will fuse with others, 
as we move on. It's part of the game. It's been played in the past and it's still playing out today. And we're, because ultimately we expect one person to emerge. And um, we all hope that we'll rally around whoever emerges to give him all the support required to take on the mantle of power and drive Nigeria to a better place. But at what point uh, should we begin to de-emphasize the significant role money plays in determining who becomes candidates of political parties, not just for the PDP? Well, I think again, you are throwing a question to me which I think should be answered by Nigerians. Because the choice of who leads is Nigerians. And um, the, des uh, the desire for good governance is Nigerians. So they are in a position to determine whether they want to go through a monetized process or they want to go through a selection process that brings out the best and most eligible person that will take Nigeria to higher and better levels. Um, as it were, no matter how much I say, ordinarily I feel that we should have no business monetizing the process of selection. But um, be it as it may, we have come thus far and I expect that Nigerians who ultimately will cast their votes will determine who best fits and gets Nigeria the leadership that will give us a better human capital development platform that will increase our, you know, our environment for better life for people, but most importantly will make us secure. I think these are things that Nigerians will determine. And all in all, I think that um, with this process going on here, as you can see, how peaceful it is, how organized it is, we expect that to translate into the ultimate um, electoral process. Your Excellency, the stakes are indeed very high. As some people are saying that, you know, with the caliber of um, aspirants we are seeing, uh, their political stature and all of that, people within the party are concerned. What happens when after, after the whole primary election? Will the party still be that one indivisible whole? Will people be able to set aside their differences and work in the common interest of the People's Democratic Party? I keep wondering why people ask this question. This is not the first time. We're not a green environment in running primaries. We've run primaries probably in the last 40, 50 years. And there have always been winners and losers. And we've always come together to work together to work for the common interest. And I think that takes precedence over and above individual interest. So ultimately, I see a situation where those who lose will see it as a process of, uh, you know, as you see, a part of the selection process. And they'll put their eggs together to ensure that a stronger force comes out in the final election to give us a better result. All right. Your Excellency Abdul Fattah Ahmed, thank you very much for your time on the program. Thank you, you're most welcome. Well, Mike, uh, there you have it, uh, former governor of uh, Kwara State, His Excellency Abdul Fattah Ahmed, giving us his own uh, perspective. Well, he's an official uh, in charge of our special duties here at the ongoing uh, presidential convention uh, to conduct uh, the primaries, primary election of the People's uh, Democratic Party. Over to you, Mike. All right, thank you very much, Femi. It's a good thing uh, him talking about what Nigerians uh, stand to decide, or it's, it's left for Nigerians to decide how all of those things are going to be. It's a democratic way of uh, answering those questions. <laughs> really interesting. <laughs> <laughs>